Hello friends, welcome to the lecture series of subject Special Purpose Vehicle. Myself, Professor Lav Patel from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So, in previous lecture, we have uh, studied about chapter six, that is Special Purpose Vehicle, in which uh, we have found uh, five to six Special Purpose Vehicles that have some different kind of application, and based on that application, we are choosing. Uh, for our work. So in today's lecture we will see about two different kind of special purpose vehicle. First that is the hovercraft and the second one that is the tipper. So in the hovercraft we will see about the design, how hovercraft is going to work, what about its principal advantages, disadvantages and also uh, for the same for tipper case. Also we will see about the different tipper mechanism that what are the different kind of mechanism that we are going to learn or we can implement in our tipper or dumper. So let us begin with the first topic that is the hovercraft. So basically we can uh, say that the hovercraft engine that is uh, either having diesel engine or petrol engine. Also uh, from the figure, from next slide you will find one figure in which you can see that there are two different kinds of fan that hovercraft use. First fan that is the large central fan. Uh, which is pointing downward and one or more other fans that are facing backwards. Also the first fan that it creates the lift and holds the craft above the waves. So we can say that the first uh, fan, the purpose of the first fan is to lift the overall hovercraft and maintain the air in the cushion body. Also about the other fan, like it is uh, one kind of fan that that is used for propel our overall craft backward, forward and left or right. So we can say that with the uh, help of one fan we can lift the overcraft and with the help of another uh, fans we can propel the in any direction. Also rubber skirt has been placed in which the air cushion has been uh, air has been transported to the cushion or rubber skirt. Uh, we all know the pressure formula that is force upon area. So we can say that the for uh, larger hovercraft it is very easy to load very heavy materials or passengers. So uh, for hovercraft for the same material uh, capacity we can choose larger area of hovercraft rather than smaller area of hovercraft. So from that principle we can say that the as the we maximize the basic area of hovercraft, we can easily find uh, lift as well as loading capacity. Also, we can say that hovercraft is a family member of air cushion vehicle. So here one figure has been placed and at which you can find that the bottom portion, the rubber portion that is called rubber skirt. Also here one propeller, uh, propeller fan has been placed. So in some hovercraft you will find one fan and uh, the one fan uh, also it helps to lift the hovercraft as well as to propel the hovercraft. So it is depending upon the hovercraft design whether we have to choose one fan or two fan. Moving further let us see its main construction. So in the figure you can see that there are two fans that has been placed with the help of a uh, gearbox first fan or center fan that blows the air to the downward direction while the another fan that has been placed at the rear portion. So uh, from that fan we can say that it can easily move the hovercraft forward. So these two are the basic fans for individual uh, hovercraft also engine that is either gasoline operated or diesel operated at the frontal portion you will find cockpit also the bottom portion uh, at bottom portion you can uh, find that rubber skirt and it in which you will find air cushion inside the skirt to support the craft so basically our main aim is to uh, propel both the fans and with the help of one fan we can inflate the skirt of the hovercraft and with the help of another fan we can move the hovercraft also you will find a different kind of design for individual hovercrafts like its uh, passenger capacity or loading capacity so based on that you can choose either one two or three fans 
so uh, in this figure you will find the latest or the modern overdraft system in which you will find only one fan and uh, this uh, fan can also useful for uh, air inflation to the skirt and also for propelling itself so there are several kind of design that we are choosing from now uh, we can say that uh, from the calculation that weight that overdraft weighs so for that we need cushion pressure the rubber skirt pressure and the overall area like uh, how much wide my overdraft is so based on that we can calculate how much weight that can overdraft can raise also to limit the cushion air from escaping the air is contained by the use of skirt so we can say that we have to separate our uh, skirt or cushion air in several segments individually like uh, inflation is there so from that it cannot affect my overall overdraft so we have separated the different segments of my overall air skirt also two engine or one engine can be used to lift or to move uh, what about the steering system so for the steering system we can say that there are several options available for overdraft first we can say that uh, we are choosing rudder system so from the rudder system uh, like you know the ships uh, the giant ship that has placed rudder system for steering purpose also you can uh, uh, option you can choose an option like uh, overall fan can be moved from left to right direction so from the fan angle direction we can change the direction of overall overdraft so we can choose rudder system for steering purpose also the main two principle first is to lift and the second one is to propel the overall overdraft the, uh, if we are talking about the parts there are mainly we are mainly considered three parts first the lifting fan second the thrust propeller the second fan and the skirt portion or the bottom portion of the overdraft so here one design is there in which you will find rudder system for uh, direction of my to change the direction of my overall overdraft now let us see one video in which you will find working principle of overdraft like how overdraft can work okay uh, so in this system you will find one overdraft which is uh, for good purpose also there are four parts of overdraft first that is the propeller second that is the air intake third that is the that are the fans and fourth that is the skirt so this is the working principle of overdraft like how it is going to turn so here the rudder system has been placed towards my fan and from the help of that uh, particular fan and we can change the direction of overall overdraft Uh, see in this kind of overdraft you will find two uh, fans so from the help of individual two fans we can change the direction also you will find a huge area for rubber cushion to gain very huge amount of load or to carry very huge amount of load now moving further let us talk about our second topic that is tipper system like we all know we have already discussed about the dumper and tippers like how the dumper and tippers are going to work we all know that the basically the application of the tipper or dumper is to carry bulky materials like sand gravels vegetables rocks so our main purpose is to carry the bulk materials so for that uh, how we can load and unload such kind of materials first of all we uh, we knew that the uh, materials that has been loaded from the overhead hoppers so it is very easy to load the materials but if we are talking about unloading of the materials it is very difficult to manage so for that we are using tipper mechanism at which you will find at one end that is pivoted from the one portion and at the second uh, end you will find uh, operate uh, using oil under pressure pumped by the main engine or by a separate diesel engine so at the second point you will find hydraulic cylinder which can be operated with the help of either engine or a separate diesel engine and from that cylinder we can lift our overall tipper body 
Now let us see about the tipping mechanism. Uh, in tipping, tipping mechanism, you will find different kind of uh, tipping mechanism, like three-way mechanism is there in which you will find uh, different three-way unloading method of a trailer. Uh, in general, we will find one tipping mechanism at which the trailer has been lifted to the uh, frontal to the rear portion. Uh, also from the left or right portion we are choosing three way tipping mechanism. In such video you will find three way tipping trailer. There are so many options like how you can choose tipping trailer, what about the hydraulic cylinder and its dimension, how many number of uh, hydraulic cylinders that are used. Uh, in the video you will find only one cylinder that has been placed at center of the trailer and uh, you will find at the rear portion of the trailer two links has been placed or that has been connected manually so for that if my hydraulic cylinder is operated the trailer is going to lift from the frontal portion and frontal portion to the rear portion so that is, this is my first uh, method if we are talking about the second method or we can say left or right tilting mechanism. So for that I need to change uh, my clippings or uh, control valve mechanism uh, which can uh, be uh, which uh, from which we can lock our different two sides. So the same method that has been applied for right side or left side unloading mechanism. Also uh, rather than choosing one, uh, one hydraulic cylinder you can choose uh, four hydraulic cylinder for individual points and with the help of any two kind of hydraulic mechanism you can choose three way tipping mechanism. So these are the several tipping mechanism or three way tipping mechanism in which uh, depending upon the usage and the load carrying capacity you can choose either one of them. So this is all about today's lecture. Thank you.